Hello, my name is Blake Burkamp. I'm the sales agronomist for Great Plains. Today we're going to go over how to calibrate your sprayer. Some of the safety equipment includes a chemical Tyvek suit, which can be purchased for as little as $10 from your local farm store, as well as gloves and eye protection, such as goggles. You also need a graduated cylinder to perform the calibration. Some of the most common chemicals that can be used to kill your weeds prior to planting your food plot include glyphosate, 2,4-D, and dicamba. The first step before applying chemicals is to always read the label and make sure you have a good understanding of the chemical. For example, with 2,4-D and dicamba, there is a seven to 10 day waiting period prior to planting legume species such as soybeans or peas. The first step to take when calibrating your sprayer. If using a boomless type sprayer, such as we have here, knowing our spray width or spray pattern, which we'll perform by taking the sprayer out and turning it on and measuring the distance that it is covering. So now we're here in the driveway where we can measure the width of our spray pattern. First thing we'll need to do is turn the sprayer on. Now that we can clearly see our spray pattern across the driveway, we simply need to measure from one end to the other. We are at about 24 feet here from one end to the other, but when taking into account uh, about six inches of overlap on each side, we should consider this about 23 feet of effective spray pattern. If using a boom type sprayer, you simply need to measure the distance between each spray nozzle and then count the number of total nozzles across the boom. The next step in our calibration will be to determine the output of our sprayer in gallons per minute. To do this, we'll need to perform our catch test using the graduated cylinder and timing for one minute. We'll turn the sprayer on and begin collecting the output of each spray nozzle. The first nozzle, we caught 104 ounces. The second middle nozzle, we caught 56 ounces. And the third outside nozzle, we caught 106 ounces. So now we've calculated up the total ounces per minute for all three of our nozzles. And it comes to 266 ounces per minute. Divide this by 128 ounces per gallon and we come out to 2.1 gallons per minute. The next part of the calibration process is determining our ground speed. Now most four-wheelers like this one have a speedometer, but we need to make sure that it is accurate. To do this, we'll place two flags 200 feet apart and then time uh, how long it takes us to travel this distance. A common spraying speed that we are shooting for is around four to five miles per hour. Now that took just right at 33 seconds to travel our 200 feet. Using some quick math, we are able to calculate that that is um, right at six feet per second. Converting that to miles per hour puts us at just over four miles per hour, which was right at what our speedometer said we were going. So we can verify that our four-wheeler is traveling at the speed the speedometer says it is. Now that we have calibrated our speed and performed a catch test, we know that we are traveling at 4.1 miles per hour with a sprayer output of 2.1 gallons per minute and a boom width of 23 feet. Using these numbers, we can calculate the sprayer rate in gallons per acre. We found that our sprayer is applying 11 gallons per acre. It is important to read the herbicide label for the recommended rate of application. If you need to apply the herbicide with a higher or lower amount of water per acre, 
then either your ground speed or sprayer PSI must be adjusted. It is important to know the size of the field or area you are planning to spray so that you do not mix too much or too little herbicide. Multiply the total number of acres you are spraying times the output of your sprayer and gallons per acre to find the total number of gallons you need to apply to the plot.